Hello everybody, this is a 70 year old case with the brown nuclear cataract and after finishing the phaco emulsification, a tear occurred in the posterior capsule during irrigation aspiration. Here there were some nuclear sharpeners or nuclear fragments that were hiding either uh, above the iris or inside the wound. Uh, so here I was just taking them out with IA, but the posterior capsule here, I think it was engaged in the aspiration port it's not that obvious, but now it's obvious that there is a rent or an tear in the posterior capsule. So the first thing to do here is that I direct the, the irrigation upwards so that the current is in the AC, not pushing any fragments into the tear. And then after that, I'm putting viscoelastic with the other hand, then closing the irrigation, and then removing the irrigation uh, uh, cannula outside. Now here we have... Um, uh, replay showing that the posterior capsule here was engaged in the aspiration port momentarily and this resulted in a small tear which has extended but it fortunately it didn't extend to the equator so here the decision was to use the capsular axis forceps and to convert this tear this avoid tear into a complete oval tear without leaving any edges uh, so that i prevent extension of the posterior capsule a capsular tear into uh, a complete radial tear with two flaps which may compromise the back. Now this uh, cap uh, uh, this is a avoid, completely avoid capsular tear with no sharp edges. Uh, now the bag is a bit expensile so you can put viscoelastic and then here I implanted a hydrophobic uh, single piece uh, um, acrylic lens. This is the Sensor One lens. I have no financial interest. The, this beautiful unfolding into the bag, the slow unfolding allowed the lens to be positioned into the bag without any manipulations and then some doing some irrigation aspiration to remove any cortical or epinuclear remnants as you can see here and the fluidics showing that there is no vitreous that of course you have to have to be sure but before that there was a nuclear particle behind the lens so here we're just using just some uh, dry aspiration to aspirate this small fragment without uh, bringing out uh, viscous with active fluidics. And then after that, we do some passive irrigation to remove any viscoelastic remnants. Uh, and the next step is that you should sweep. We sweep through the wounds to be sure that there's no vitreous coming out from the uh, behind the IOL. Some stromal hydration and the case is concluded. Thank you so much for watching and waiting for your comments. Thank you.